Prosecution, may I now proceed with the presentation of their witness? With the kind indulgence of the Honorable Court, Your Honor, before we proceed, <clears throat> uh, the prosecution, Your Honor, has one uh, small concern, and uh, <clears throat> uh, I would like to uh, ask the Honorable uh, Public Prosecutor, Congressman Colmenares, to articulate this concern of the, pub of the uh, prosecution, Your Honor, if we may. To what? Uh, Your Honor, uh, <clears throat> the prosecution has one uh, small concern, yes. and uh, <clears throat> I am asking the Honorable uh, the Congressman Neri Colmenares, uh, Public Prosecutor, to articulate this concern, uh, Your Honor. Proceed. Thank you. Uh, con the Honorable Congressman Colmenares is the floor. Thank you, Senate President. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, gusto ko lang pong mag-manifest uh, regarding an issue which was tackled just a while ago on the issue of the subpoena po of the justices and the records of the court, which is a very important component of Article 3 and Article 7 and other articles in the impeachment complaint po. Uh, yung pagsubpina po ng uh, Supreme Court records and justices, we believe cannot be equated with an imposition by an equal branch on a co-equal branch. The Senate here is sitting as an impeachment court. It is not issuing the subpina on the basis of its powers as the Senate, but rather as a sui generis na body kung kaya wala siyang co-equal in that sense. Secondly po, the Senate has actually, in fact, subpoenaed members of the executive. Uh, Commissioner Kemenares, in a sense, is a member of the executive. And, uh, in fact, the Supreme Court has actually been subpoenaed with the clerk of court who uh, uh, disclosed the sal -en, which, according to court resolutions, is prohibited from being disclosed. So, ang punto po dito if the other branches of government, in fact, even members of Congress, can be subpoenaed by the impeachment court and under the rules, a senator may even be subpoenaed and will and shall testify before the impeachment court. Kung kaya... Mer mer meron na bang sitwasyon na sinubpina ng Korte Suprema ang mga uh, kinatawan ng Kongreso well, uh, in that case, Your Honor... Meron ba? Meron? Meron kayo natatandaan? In the impeachment case of Mercedes Gutierrez, Your Honors, uh, uh, I was informed just now that the Supreme Court actually subpoenaed members of Congress. But, Your Honors, Sino I'd like to stress... Sino ang sinubpina sa Kongreso tungkol sa kay, uh, kay Mercedes Gutierrez? Sorry, Your Honors, if I may be allowed... The information here is that we were made parties by that case. But I'd yes. like to stress, Your Honors, please. You can be a party. But yes, that Your Honor. You cannot be so summoned by, by a co equal department. That is my, my uh, understanding, my sim humble understanding of our principle of separation of power. I agree, Your Honor. But Due the subpoena. are given. Thank that you. Otherwise, when the defense asks this chair, to subpoena the speaker, the uh, Congressman Abaya, Congressman Tupas, Congressman Bagao, and Congressman Eric Tanyada, and another one, and Man uh, Congressman Mandanas, Congressman Remulia, immediately I denied it. Yes, Your Honor. Because of that uh, tradition and my notion of the meaning of separation of power and the co-equalness of the three departments of government is in the same manner that we cannot subpoena the president. Thank you, Your Honor. He is the head of the executive department. Can you imagine the Supreme Court subpoenaing the president? Thank you, Your or Honor. Or that the Senate in its investigation subpoenaing the president? 
Thank you, Your Honor. If I may, Your Honor, please. Yeah, please. The subpoena that the Supreme Court, the issue of whether the Supreme Court has subpoenaed members of Congress, is not in all force here, Your Honor, because it's, the, not, it's not the Senate that is uh, issuing the subpoena, but the Senate acting as an impeachment court, Your Honor. Correct, so, but we are still operating under one constitution. Yes, Your Honor, and there none, are cases. None is more powerful than any other department. Yes, Your Honor. And then there are cases, in fact, where the Supreme Court said, in cases both the U.S. and in the Philippines, where the Supreme Court said the separation of powers may be used uh, in cases where uh, records through confidential confidentiality clauses are subpoenaed. However, the Supreme Court itself said that there are, in fact, instances when uh, records can be subpoenaed by another department in relation to an investigation. Records, by your records, eh? And the... And the uh, I understand uh, the Supreme Court motto proprio allowed in an embank resolution the submission of the requested records, but not the person your Honor, of please. the justices. Your Honours, please. Maybe, I, in my belief, the impeachment court has absolute powers to uh, subpoena anyone, but uh, the discussion of whether the head of the institution, the Chief Justice, the Senate President, the Speaker of the House, or the President of the Philippines, the prosecution may probably find it reasonable to discuss whether or not they could be subpoenaed. But mere justices, your honors, uh, members of Congress, members of the Senate, in fact, a senator is allowed to testify and, in fact, can be subpoenaed, has no... Uh, can be uh, subpoenaed, Your Honours, by the impeachment court. And I if I may, Your Honour, please, the issue here is actually accountability, Your Honour. It's not the separation of powers. Otherwise, the impeachment powers of the this Honourable Senate should have been placed in Article 5 under the Executive or maybe Article 6 on the Legislative or Article 7 of the Judiciary. But it was placed in Article 7, Your Honour, on accountability. And I believe that the co-equal principles may be of serious consideration. However, it is the accountability mechanism that is at place here. The Chief Justice, in fact, in his compliance uh, with the subpoena, has in fact also subpoenaed members of the Supreme Court. The Chief Justice has also listed in his compliance records of the Supreme Court. And if the Chief Justice wishes to subpoena the records and the notes of the Supreme Court for his defense, Your Honors, I think we should allow the Chief Justice all the tools, and we cannot tell the Chief Sino Justice... Well, Your Honors, in the defense side, they are, sub they are subpoenaing Chief, uh, Justice Presbytero Velasco, they are subpoenaing Justice Abad. In our case, we are subpoenaing uh, uh, Justice Sereno, and we are also uh, asking for a subpoena uh, for uh, other members of the court, like uh, Maidas Marquez, and the clerk of court, Your Honor. And very crucial po sa amin talaga na ma masubpina ng impeachment court and let the justice or the personnel of the court uh, refuse to answer, if, e if ever, a question from both the prosecution and the defense. But I think we should not preclude both parties from uh, issuing or asking for the subpoena of these justices, Your Honors, please. It is very crucial that uh, we, were, uh, we are able to prove our case. Otherwise, Your Honors, pag hindi natin masubpina yung ilang na yan, Yung Senate impeachment tribunal here will decide on the conviction or acquittal of the Chief Justice based on half of the records, Your Honor. And that will be very difficult for us to, all to explain. Because either we acquit or we convict, but the facts, the documents, the evidence, kalahati lang po ang na-avail natin, mahira po yon. That's why we are really, really uh, expressing this serious manifestation that the, in the same manner that both the defense and the prosecution anyway are asking for the court records that the Senate allow. In any case, the main reason usually against the subpoena of court deliberations is that justices may not exchange in frank opinions and views if they feel that uh, an impeachment court someday will subpoena their proceedings. For us, that is not necessarily the fault of the system, Your Honors, please. That is the fault of the justice himself. A judge should be able to express his opinions, whether it's private or public. 
the Senate expresses their vote on certain bills, the Senate expresses their vote on certain committee reports, even Congress expresses their intentions, their reasons on why they voted for a certain bill or not, without fearing that, oh, because our deliberations are open to the public, I may not be able to express my frank opinion on the matters. For, uh, for us, Your Honors, in the prosecution, please, this impeachment trial is, private, is public, Your Honors, and the, 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 the Senate cannot say, well, since it's a public...